All right, Steve, we need to talk to people about digging because you can't just dig any place. Yes, if, if you don't own the property, you need permission to be digging there and uh, metal detecting there. So ask permission from the property owner. Uh, if it's public properties, get a hold of the Parks and Recreation Department, see if there's a permit system that needs to happen. Uh, but yes, if you don't own the property, you need to have permission to be there and to be metal detecting and digging there. So be sure and tell the customer when they buy the metal detector that they need to get permission from folks. Yes. Now, shovels. Whites make shovels for everything, it seems. <laughs> We've got a different shovel for everything. So when the customer comes in and is looking, ask what kind of metal detecting they're going to be doing because there's a different tool for a different product. A lot of the tools are regional specific for specific types of ground. We have a general digging tool which is pretty good for just about uh, most of your soft, easy digging ground. A sand scoop is what you're going to need if you're in the sandy grounds and in the beaches. Real quick, just take a scoop and shake it out. Coin popping tools are, are very popular. You can avoid digging altogether. You get a good pinpoint. You get this down, you can actually pop coins huh. out of the ground. Uh, but by far and away, what's called the hinge door method with a, a significant digging tool is the most common and the most popular way to dig for targets. Well, let's sh show us how to do that. Well, let me show you. The idea of the hinge door method is to cut the turf, but to leave one side as a hinge so that the turf doesn't get sucked up by the lawnmower. So we do it, cut it on three sides, and we can pry it open and carefully hinge it over. Now, if, if we, the target is still, if I still have to dig some more, it's best to lay out a, a little drop cloth and to put our dirt on that drop cloth so that it doesn't get spread out into the, into the surrounding grass. Now when I've recovered my target, I want to always fill in my holes. If you don't ever want to not fill in your holes. You don't holes, want to leave a divot or anything. They're like dangerous that. To, to children and animals. So I'm going to fill my hole back in. I can just dump the dirt back off my cloth. So then when you hinge it back over and give it a step, it's difficult to tell where you've dug, and that's what you want. You don't want to leave a mess or unsightly holes around to uh, for people to uh, not like you coming back and metal detecting there some more.